right, this is the moment that every mixed martial arts athlete hopes will materialize. The number one heavyweight contender making the walk for his first title fight here in the UFC. I mean, the nerves are going crazy for this man right now. He's so nervous. Has he done everything he needs to do? Has he not left any stone unturned? He says that he has prepared. He says that his body's ready, his mind's ready. He feels physically good in the spot. He's taking on a long-rated champion. If he's gonna get this done, it's gonna take something truly special. He does not believe jitters will be a factor here tonight. He has built his career methodically to this point. We'll see if we hear the words and new by night 10. his teammate Sean Brady's nickname to be Brickhouse, and I'm not sure there's a more appropriate moniker for this guy than that. Have you ever seen a fighter respond better to a loss than Sean Brady did against Kelvin Gastelum after he was humbled by Bilal, remember the name Muhammad? This man's wrestling and grappling and sheer physical strength is as scary a proposition, I would think, for any future welterweight contender. And now with momentum reacquired, we'll see if Sean Brady can take that requisite next step. All right, with that, both fighters have now graced the octagon. They will lock the door behind them ready to go with a crazy fight here at T-Mobile Arena in Las Vegas, Nevada. And now let's get you our tail of the tape for this heavyweight championship fight. Now for the introductions, here's Bruce Buffett. Ladies and gentlemen, this is the main event of the evening. <laughs> for this one. All right, early round action here. We'll see if tonight is the night that Sean Brady finally meets his match. You can argue this is the most avoided guy in the UFC's welterweight division right now. Just a marauding, suffocating ground game, a developing striking game that has also proven to be problematic for his fellow contemporaries. And Sean Brady looking for that signature next level win that's gonna vault him into welterweight contention. Yeah, that punch was blocked. Oh, beautiful uppercut by the boxer there. And for the BJJ guy, saw a man who key is nowhere to be found. Like, they need to raise your hands. You know, knees can be caught for takedowns, uppercuts can't. You're allowed to be at distance when you throw it. He showed that. Look for him to continue to go to the well with that strike. Oh, how good is this? One minute into the fight, and we got a full-on brawl. These guys said that they were going to point to the the octagon, and they were going to fight. Did I believe them? No. So right now, I am so wrong. They are doing exactly what they said. Yeah, shades of Max Holloway against Ricardo Lamas back in the day. It's beautiful setup to the leg kick. Just misses with the left hook. Checks the leg kick. 
Oh, found the target there with a straight right counter. He landed that inside leg kick. Oh, nice. Wow, he lands another leg kick. Just over three minutes to go in our first round. Good stick. Oh, and he lands another counter-strike here. He has landed several in this round. And if you are a counter-striking stylist, you can do worse than watching this guy compete. Beautiful job defensively, head movement, foot movement, and ultimately finding a home for these counter shots repeatedly in this round. Great commitment to the kick game. And just misses with that big right hand. Oh, nice right hand by the champ, yeah. Just out of range with that left hook. Just over two minutes to go. Well, at this point, he is really timing things out well. It looks like he'll try to set up another combination of counter strikes here. He'll try to bait his opponent in and ultimately use that over aggressiveness against him. Just missed with the elbow there. Punches. Really's got his opponent on notice here. Stuffs the takedown there. How good is his takedown defense? Man, DC, his hands look good. A lot of volume, a lot of accuracy tonight. He's doing a great job being accurate, but he's also very fast. Look at the hand speed. Right. Oh, nice body shot. Awesome. Joy gets caught with that punch. Not the easiest guy in the world to hit, but he got caught there. Both fighters throwing heat now. Joy gets tattooed by a solid uppercut there. Can't take too many more of those. Nice job to get inside and get the single collar tie. Ball left hook to the head, it's blocked. All right, 45 seconds now to go on the round. These guys are going at it. Oh, beautiful technique on that straight punch. Oh, man. Starting to do some really significant damage to the body here. Another strike lands there. Decent right hook attempt, but it's no good. Block there. Oh. Second round, straight ahead. All right, listen. You're looking great. You're winning this fight everywhere. This round, I want you to control the fight on the ground. I think you can get that submission from side control position. All right, now we take a look back at some of the highlights. He has had his kicking game going early and often tonight. I mean, on point, right? He knew that this was going to be a way for him to take control of this fight. He's used those kicks to really put him out ahead. And I'm not sure if his opponent has the ability to adjust and stop him from landing these over and over. You ready to fight? Ready. Round two underway. All right, we'll see how it goes here in this next round. A high number of kicks landed there in the previous round, and at some point, these are going to really start to take effect. They do start to take an effect whenever you're taking kick after kick after kick, and watching him fight with that knowledge and that patience shows his fight IQ. Oh, nice left hook. Well, new round, same narrative. He continues to punish the body yet again, just as he did in the previous frame. Flying knee kick to the target. Beautiful flying knee to the head. Nice counter right hook there. Circling to his right. Both 
both fighters exchange in the pocket here. All right, single collar tie now. Uppercut lands for him. Well, not exactly what we thought we would see out of this jiu-jitsu fighter. He's had a lot of success on the feet, and I think this is why sometimes the film can lie if you lean too heavily into it. Absolutely. I mean, you think you're coming in here to fight a grappler, and this guy looks like a it's boxer right. tonight. Right. His right. hands have looked crispy. His kicks, everything that he is doing has worked, and I think this is partly due to the fact that you think he's trying to take you down, when in reality, this guy can fight everywhere. Well, the calf kicks all the rage, but he's not discriminating, attacking the thigh pretty effectively. Here. Yeah, we have seen that time and time again. Start a mixed martial arts, people throw leg kicks. Right now, you can see him digging his shin into this guy's thigh. Beautiful right hook counter. Back to the overhand right, not there. Joy's body getting all sorts of bruised up on that right side now. Under three minutes to go in round two. Both fighters hanging down in the pocket and both landing. Oh, beautiful lead kick is good there by the Korean Super Bowl. Well, you got to think he's going to enjoy watching this one back tomorrow morning. He has landed a ton of significant strikes and really a guy who has been a monster in the gym finally putting it together here in the octagon. To go home and admire your work, it doesn't take till the next morning. He's going back to you right now and firing up the video to look at beauty in action. And he was the one causing all the action. Brady's nose is bleeding now, so we'll see how he handles that adversity. But nothing ideal about it here in the middle of this fight. Oh, that's a beautiful land downstairs with the kick. Just over two minutes to go. Well, the right hand has been there at times, not that time. Heavy leather landed on both sides in that exchange. It's okay, keep going, keep going. So a much different approach for him here in this second round. He was a little bit tentative in round one, a little bit of a feeling. Take it for a ride. Nice double leg, nice finish. Big ground and pound. Staying offensive off of his back as he lands a strike from the bottom position. Well, working pretty effectively from the top here. Nice ground and pound by Sean Brady. And there it is, another strike on the ground gets through. Oh, he's got to be careful there, yep. That was a slick transition. Brady's back in full mount. Nice shots landing from the top position. Nicely done there as he forces the miss from his opponent. Forty-five seconds remain in the round. He is really doing a nice job with his head movement here defensively on the ground to avoid further punishment. He isn't waiting until his opponent throws. He's being proactive. And when his opponent throws, he's already moving, so he's missing it. Well, this is a tough fighter to buck off. Very good pressure and work here by Sean Brady. Ooh, this could be it. That thing is tight. That arm turn. Oh, he escapes. He got out. He, wow, that is great submission defense. rounds of the year. All right, so there's the end of the round. You see the blood trickling down as he makes his way back to the stool. Cut on the bridge of the nose, or so it appears from the strike in that round. Cut man getting right to work. All right, well, one minute of end swell can only do so much. Let us look back at some of the damaging strikes in that previous round. It doesn't seem like it's going to do much, and if it does, he can't take any more of these shots. He was too stationary. He took everything square on the target. He's got to move his head, and he's got to be proactive instead of reactive in terms of his defenses. Ready to fight? Ready. All right, here we go with this third round of this championship fight. 
All right, so next round underway here, and you gotta admire the stamina that both of these guys still exuded towards the end of that round. Both men put a particular focus on their cardiovascular commitment in this training camp, and it's clearly paid dividends here tonight. We have two legitimately fresh fighters here as we hit this next round. All right, seems as though his sole focus is attacking that cut, and man, it's getting bad now, a lot of blood flowing. Yeah, as it should be. Right? He should be focused on getting to that cut, making his opponent pay. He did the work, he opened up the cut. Now it's on him to continue on the path and make the ringside position come in here and try to stop this fight. All right, so that opened up a cut around his eye area. He hasn't moved his head well. He was taking shots too clean, and now a cut is opened up. Oh, a nice inside leg kick landed there by the Korean Super Bowl. The issue with that kick, as effective as it is, on the check the Anderson Silva situation. All right, champ, starting to see some swelling upstairs now. Well, he's taking way too many shots to the head. You gotta move your head. You cannot be on a straight line. Otherwise, you won't take shots, and that shot, and those shots, leads to your face starting to swell. Straight punch, that is useful. Glancing right hand lands upstairs. Oh! Big shots exchanged in the pocket there. Brady's blocking pretty well now, so an adjustment made by the fighter to protect that already significantly damaged nose. All right, well, the cap kick has been a priority, and now his opponent is bruised in that area. It's all in the game plan, John. They had a game plan to come out there and beat that lead leg up, and that's exactly what he's doing. The Korean Superboy gets tagged with a kick now. Let's see if he can rally. It got checked. And we have passed the midpoint of the fight. Finds his range with the jab. Well, he continues to stay busy, and he continues to land with volume punches. I mean, volume, but he's not wasting anything. He's so accurate out there. Choi's cheek looks like it's cut. Yes, it is. Starting to bleed a little bit now. Lands a nice leg kick. Well, he misses with the left punch there. He has absorbed this amount of damage. His face is essentially shut. Unrecognizable. He's unrecognizable. That is, a, that is as close to the term that I can... Oh, no! Missed with that right hand. Well, I'm no fighter, but if I rock a guy to that extent, I feel like I'm closing the show. Absolutely. You gotta go close the show if you get a guy hurt that bad. You cannot back off. Take your time. He's ripe for the picking. Go and pick the fruit. <laughs> Clean left punch followed by the right. Oh, left hook. Short time now in the round. Joy gets caught with that punch. He's treading water now. Got to find a way to move those feet. Oh, he landed another great shot to the body. They're really starting to connect at a high percentage now in the latter stages of this fight. Just misses with the left hook. Right on the button. And again, dealing with that cut around his eye. Got to be careful. He's got to shore up the defense. Because if he keeps getting hit there, it's only going to continue to get worse. Man, these guys have some chins on them. Huge shots being landed on both sides. Brady gets caught by that straight punch. That'll get his attention. I mean, is this thing on repeat? How many times can you say punch to the head? Brady's cut on his nose is just pouring blood at this point. Stop. 
All right, three rounds down, potentially two more to go. We are headed to the championship rounds. All right, back to the stools we go, and that is a really severe cut, so we will monitor him between rounds as they furiously get the cut man in there. All right, well, defense wins championships, and perhaps he can shore some things up there. Here are some replays from the damaging previous round. Well, he's got to. He's got to change some things if he doesn't want this cut to get worse. But hats off to his opponent. His opponent found the target. His opponent knew exactly what he wanted to accomplish, and he got it done. He's got to continue down the path in order to make the cut Ready, worse. Fight. Ready. Ready. All right, here's round four. Fight scheduled for five five-minute rounds. All right, here we go. The tension is palpable. Fourth round is underway. You've got a thing or two to say about these championship rounds. The fourth round is easily the hardest round in fighting. You're so used to fighting up to three. You got to get back off of that stool, and this is a real test of your will and desire. So wisely, he continues to attack that area that is cut wide open. When you were fighting, was that something you would do? You see a cut trying to oh, attack it? It's like a target. Yeah. I mean, you want to get your hands on that cut. You want to punch him in it. You want to elbow him in it. Anytime you see your work paying off. Oh! Brady's really bleeding heavily now. That cut is only getting worse by the minute. Well, he continues to do a nice job here defensively, protecting his head, raising the guard, and really frustrating the offensive fighter a little bit. Less is one in boxing class. Hands up, chin down. Oh, beautiful hook by Short. At this point, DC, I'm not sure if he's just biding his time or just trying to get some extra reps, but go finish the fight. You know, he's having a good time out there. Everything's working. He's in the zone. It feels like at any moment he can end the night of his opponent. But... Oh! Another knockdown! Oh, the ground and pound is coming. Good movement to avoid some of that power coming back. I can see the ringside position starting to get up because that cut has gotten to a very bad place. Just gotta be careful here. Three minutes. And busy as he looks to improve position here. Choi's back in half guard, very comfortable here. Oh, nicely done there as he escapes back to his feet. Well, this fight's been pretty crazy thus far. Both guys doling out a lot of damage, and neither seems too bothered by it, but clearly both parties are hurt. Both guys are hurt. Both guys are fighting beautifully. Both are showing a lot of heart right now in this fight. They're both doing amazing jobs. Let's see who gets the job done at the end of this day. Well, he continues to do a nice job here defensively protecting the head and sort of maybe letting his opponent gas out a little bit. Oh! And that'll do it! Do Ho Choi with a huge win tonight! Holy! We go inside the octagon now where Bruce Buffer has the official decision. Ladies and gentlemen, referee Herb Dean's called a stop to this contest at two minutes, 50 seconds of round number four. We play the winner by knockout and new undisputed USC heavyweight champion of the world, the Korean Super Bowl, Du Ho Chong.
Do Ho Choi is the name, ladies and gentlemen. A huge win for the Korean Superboy here tonight. And this is a kid who is just getting started. A scary proposition for the rest of this featherweight division. But we've already started to see major strides made when it 